Welcome to another Topic Tuesday. This is Dr. Mike McCall, Source Health Center. Today I'd like to talk about flus. Now, one of the things that can contribute to a flu is what I talked about last week, which was stomach function. That can kind of lead, I mentioned that the stomach can cause your sinuses to get stuffy, and when the sinuses get stuffy, man, it becomes a great petri dish for viruses and bacteria and that type of thing. So one way of looking at your health is, how do I get my body working for me? And I talked about stomach last week. Another thing about the flu, um, especially for the mothers out there is, and by the way, I don't have kids, so if you don't wanna to listen to my advice because of that, I totally understand. <laughs> but what I've seen in my practice with children and, and human adults and everybody else is that the flu a lot of times isn't because of the infection, but the body's ability to not be very efficient of getting rid of the wastes from your body working very hard. So as we enter into fall, um, it, it puts a huge stress on our bodies because one of the things our bodies has to adapt to is temperature. It's a huge thing. So if you were every day uh, 20 degrees high and low and carrying your workload like you're doing, it's easier for you to get sick. But if you can still carry the same workload and temperature is regular, you would be able to adapt. So you gotta understand that this is a, a easy time to get sick when our bodies are trying to like, one day it's 60 degrees, the other day it's 70 degrees. So. When that happens, what you wanna do is a few things, as we talked about stomach. I know this sounds strange, and I really wish it didn't sound strange, but it's, it's just, I, it, just try this, because it's non-toxic, inexpensive, and non-invasive to try. Just get off of chocolate, I said it, chocolate and popcorn, um, right when this area is going. When, after Thanksgiving, eat all the chocolate you want. Uh, that's all I can say. A lot of times I find that when people eat that, when the weather is making that shift, it'll present itself as people getting flus, and if I can clean out the bowel and get that functioning, it's huge. So one of the ways to make your body less flu symptom is to make sure your, your, um, your wastes are leaving easy, and one of those ways is the large intestine. Also, another way is hot Epsom salt bath. You can detox that way. Get your kids taking a bath with some Epsom salts. Um, that can help out a lot because you want that body to be able to not only kill the critter, but to get it out. You see what I'm saying? So popcorn, chocolate, we talked about stomach, and just drinking lots and lots and lots of water. I know that sounds terrible, but the thing is about water, it's the best pathway for your body to get things out. You may be this much water, but if you don't change the tanks frequently, then you have a problem. So at this particular time, a good thing to do is drink water. If you wanna have it through tea with lemon, hey, do it that way. Lemon in the tea is good, just don't put the skin in because the skin a lot of times has pesticides. So flu, mamas, hot bath with Epsom salts, um, chocolate popcorn. So there's Halloween, I know, after Halloween. There we go, we've got something to do. Try those things. Also look to detoxifying your house. There's the environmental work group. Google that and see is there some stuff in your in your house that may be causing your the, the family to be more prone to detoxification and flu-like symptoms. Because you know, mamas, when someone gets sick in a family, you gotta deal with it. So we'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>